Hey, welcome fellow coders. It's one for you here. Uh, this is going to be the first episode of a series focusing on arrays in JavaScript, where I'll be breaking down basic methods we can use with arrays and then tackling some problems to talk about how we would actually use these methods. Uh, today, we'll be diving into the essential building blocks of JavaScript arrays. Uh, you need to know these before we can move ahead. There will be four sections of this video. The first will be a general overview of what an array is. The second will focus on array manipulation. Uh, manipulation. The third will cover basic searching and sorting, and the final section will cover iteration. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So first up, uh, let's talk about what is an array? That is a good question. An array is this. An array is a data structure uh, represented by these brackets. Inside, you can put uh, numbers, you can put uh, string elements, you can put more arrays, but objects, it's pretty cool. So uh, console.log, oopsies, and I say array, what do I get? I get an empty array. Pretty cool, pretty interesting. Uh, there's another way that we can create arrays, which would be like this, let array one equal, we use a array prototype. And there I want an array of length five. So five elements inside of this array. And if I do console.log, I will uh, output an array with five empty items. And that's exactly what we get. We have five empty items here. Um, we'll start again. Let's see, let array one, Another way we can do it is we can just put in these numbers to begin with in five. So if I do console.log and I say array one, we will get one, two, three, four, five. And how we get individual elements from inside the array is uh, we have to remember that an array is zero index. So this position is zero, this position is one, this position is two, three, four. So I want to get the three is in position two or index two. So I can say console.log array one at, use brackets here, position two or index two, and we'll get a three. Pretty fun stuff. Uh, there's another thing we can do is uh, let array one equal array of length five. But let's say I don't want to keep it uh, as an empty array. I want to fill. So you can do it like this. So I can say fill, and I want to fill it with the number five. So here I'll have five fives if I console uh, log array one. I'll have an array of five fives, and that is what we do, in fact, get. Pretty fun stuff. And uh, so yeah, that's basically what a array is with JavaScript. It's a data structure that you can use to hold data. And it's zero indexed, and you get it using brackets. And you access items inside using bracket, brackets plus the index to access the specific item. Uh, so first up, we're going to come over here to this called the push method. Um, so this is a, the first step in manipulation that we're going to talk about. Let's go ahead and get an array. Array one equals, and we'll just go ahead and go one, two, three, four, and five. Let's see and take a look here, console.log, and we have array one. Um, this will give us an array of one, two, three, four, five. Let's say I want it to put a six at the end. Uh, this is when we use line five, the push method. What push does is it takes this array and it uh, pushes a six onto the end. So here, if I say array one dot push, and I want to put a six on the end, I do this. And you'll get a return of six. Um, and then we'll console.log array one. And we're expecting to see one, two, three, four, five, six in the array. And that is, in fact, what we do see. Uh, next up, we can use this method here called pop. Pop is a way of removing the last element in an array. So if I say array one dot pop, we don't put anything in because we're just removing it from the end. We'll get a six that comes off. And if we say console.log array one, we should have one, two, three, four, five. And that is what we do get. Indeed get. Um, 
another thing that we can do is we can say let pop var equal array one dot pop and we can actually save the last element that we have uh, popped off. So here we'll go console.log and we do array one. This should just be one, two, three, four. And if we console.log the new uh, variable that we created called pop var, it should be a five and it is indeed a five. Very good. All right, next up, we're gonna have shift and unshift. So the same way that we have push and pop, we have unshift and shift. So let's start off with an array. Let's say it is two, three, four, five. All right, we have two, three, four, five, uh, console, uh, log, and we have array one. It is in fact two, three, four, five. If I want to do the opposite of push, where push pushes it to the end, I want to put it on the front, I use line 11. It's called unshift. So I can say array one dot un shift, and I want to put a one at the front, I do this. And then we'll come over here, we'll go console dot log, and I say array one. We'll get one, two, three, four, and five. Pretty cool. And then uh, if we want to remove this one, we use this here called shift. So we can say array one dot shift. We'll get our one and we will go back to two, three, four, five. So console dot log array one, we should get two, three, four, and five. Five. Pretty cool stuff. So that is how you add elements to the end and remove them from the end with push and pop and add them to the beginning or remove them from the beginning with shift and unshift. Uh, next up, we're going to be looking at these two uh, array methods called slice and splice. I know it is. Um, they're very similar in name, but they do different things. Slice makes a copy, splice changes the original array. What does that mean? So we can say let array one equal two, three, four, and five. Very good, console.log, and we do array one, and we'll have two, three, four, and five. So we have this one here. We'll start off with slice. Slice does not change the array. It makes a shallow copy. So we can say, um, let array two equal array one dot slice. And we will slice it at, oops, sorry, starting at position zero. And we get undefined, so we can say console.log array two. And it also should be two, three, four, five. All right, and if I do console.log array one, it will also be two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's look at a splice when it comes to taking the whole thing. Okay, let's say array one equals an array of two, three, four, and five, just to maintain uh, a level of consistency. And I say, let array two. Okay, actually, let's uh, console it out just to show you that it is indeed there. Log, and I say array one. We have two, three, four, five. Okay, let array two equal. We're going to be using the splice method. So we say array one dot splice, and we're going to be starting at zero, and we're going to take the entirety of the array. All right. Now, here's what happens. When we use splice, what we do is we're taking the elements away from that array and putting them into a new array. So if I say console log array two, we will get two, three, four, and five. But if I say console log array one, all of the elements should be gone. And it will be an empty array. 
pretty interesting. So we can do, we can go a little deeper with this. So we can say, uh, let array one equal one, two, three, four, and five. And console.log array one. We have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's say I don't want to make a copy of the entire uh, array. So we say let array two equal, we can say array one dot slice, we're making a copy. We will start at zero index, okay? And where do we want to stop? Let's say we want to get one, two, and three. So we have zero, one, and two. What we want to do is cut off at the third index. So the third index will be the start of the second uh, half that we do not want. So we want from zero to indexes less than three. So this should get a one, two, and three. So console uh, log array two, and we will get one, two, and three. But because we use slice, we did not change array one. So we should still have uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Yes, and that is true. And uh, let's say that we do it with splice. Now splice will go ahead and change the array. We say let array one equal one, two, three, four, and five. Console.log array one. And we'll get one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's use splice. Okay, so let array two equal array one dot splice. And let's use the same element. So we want to start at zero and we want to end before we get to three. So we want zero, one, and two. And then three will be for the next one. All right, so we'll do that. We'll do console.log and we say array two. This will be one, two, and three, okay? But because we're using splice, we are changing the array that we pass in, array one that we're calling the splice on. So zero, one, and two indexes will be removed. And we'll be given, we left with three and four. So console.log or elements in the three and four index. So we should have four and five when we do this one. And that is indeed true. Pretty fun stuff. All right. There's another thing that we'll move on to. It's called concat. So what is concat? It's just a way of joining the two uh, arrays together. So we can say let array one equal, let's say one, two, and three. Let array two equal four, five, and six. We can say console.log and we'll say array one, array two. So we have two separate array, arrays, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I say let array three equals array we'll start with array one dot concat array two we will get one two three four five six so we are adding array two onto the end of array one console log array three and we get one two three four five six we can also do a similar thing with uh array four equals array two dot concat or concatenate array one because concat does not alter array one or array two it does not alter the array it is called on uh this should be four five six and then one two three because we have reversed order array four and we get four five six and one two three Good, and then we move on to our last method, which is join. Uh, join is fun if you want to make a, a string out of it. So we can say, uh, let array one equal, we'll go uh, j a c o and B. 
And yes, you can have an array of uh, characters. So if I do a console uh, log and I say array one, I get uh, this. If I use this word here, join this method here, I do console, let's see, let name, let my name equal. We'll do array one dot join. And we want to put no space between the elements that we will join. We'll do it like this. So we do console dot log my name, and we'll just get a string called Jacob. We can do uh, a similar thing called let my name two equal array one dot join. Uh, let's say I want to get crazy. I want to add uh, a dash between each one or a hyphen. Uh, I can do console.log my name two. And we, of course, will get J dash or J hyphen A hyphen C hyphen O hyphen B. Yeah. So those are all the basic manipulation uh, methods that we can use. Next up, we're going to move down to sorting. Sorting is a lot of fun. Uh, it's pretty easy. So we're going to start off with a uh, line 35 index of. Uh, so let's say let array one equal. We'll do some names. We'll do uh, Harry. Oops. Made a mistake there. We'll do let array one equal. We'll do uh, Harry, Ron, and Snape. Why not? Good old Harry Potter references. Uh, console.log, and we'll go array one. And we get an array of three names. Uh, let's say I want to look for the index of one of these names, but I do not know uh, the index. Let's say I don't look inside this array, let's say the array is incredibly long, and I'm looking for a specific name. Um, so I can say uh, console.log, and I can use the index of. So we can say console.log, say array one dot index of, and then in here I pass in what I'm looking for. So I'll pass in the name Ron, and I should get index one because we have zero his Harry one is wrong so we should get index one now let's say I pass in a name that does not exist we will uh, get a negative one negative one implies that there uh, this element does not exist in the array so let me pass in Hermione Hermione and uh Oh, oh, sorry. Glad to put that in, and we get a negative one because Hermione does not exist in the array of uh, Harry Potter names. Uh, next up, let's say I want to say array one dot push. We're going to use this method, and we're going to be pushing another Harry console dot log, and we say array one. So first up, we have a Harry at uh, position zero and a Harry at position three. We can also use uh, the opposite version of uh, index of, and so we can do array one dot index of, but we don't want to do index of. We want to get the last index of, and I pass in the word Harry. So here we use the word last to come in from the back. So instead of uh, starting from the left and moving to the right, we will start from the right and move to the left. And our first occurrence of Harry is the one that will be returned. And it should be an index of three. And yes, we do get index three. Very cool, very cool. We'll reset, we'll move on. Uh, next up, we'll be looking at this one here, line 39. Uh, let's say I have a let array one equal, we'll do more names, we'll do, uh, oh no, LeBron 
Dwayne, Michael, and Steph. Oops. Steph, right? So we have this array of uh, basketball players in array one. Uh, let's say we're, we want to know if a name is included in this list. So if we call includes, we will get a Boolean value, either a true or a false. So if I say console.log and I say array one dot includes, and I include the name Michael, we will return true. But let's say I'm looking for array one dot includes, and I want to find Shaq. Now, Shaq does not appear in here, so we will, in fact, get a false. So we use includes to see if it exists or if it does not exist. Um, same thing with find last. Uh, no, sorry. We have uh, includes. Next up, we have find and find last. So what this does is it finds a value that uh, meets a specific set of circumstances. So we say, let array one equal, we'll do 50, 100, 25, two and eight. So here, uh, we will use, we'll say let, uh, output equal, and I'm going to say array one, and we're going to be using find dot find. And here we will say element. We can just use e, e, where e is greater than, let's go with uh, 51. So we will let output equal array one dot find e where e is greater than 51. And we're finding the first one. So we'll start over here. We'll look at 50. 50 is less than 51. And we'll go to 100. And we'll output will be equal to 100. So we'll so console.log and we say output. It is, in fact, 100. Uh, we can also do it from the other way. So find last. Let's say I say I'm looking for let output two equal array one dot find last. So instead of looking from left to right, we'll go right to left. E where E is greater than uh, 10. So uh, if we do find, we would just output the 50. If we do find last, we'll start from the right. We'll look at eight, nope, two, nope, 25, yes. So we should, in fact, have an output two equal to 25. And yes, that is indeed what we get. All right, now next up, we have this one called find index. Uh, you can also do find uh, last index. Um, this is pretty straightforward. You're, you're just finding the index. Um, yeah. Um, we'll move over here to sort. So let's see. Sort is pretty cool. So uh, this one here, it is the same as find, uh, but we find the index of an item that meets. All right, we'll just go ahead and do it. Uh, let array one equal 20, 40, 80. All right, um, and we do find index. So we say let index one equal array one dot find index. And then here we'll say E where E is greater than 21. All right, and uh, so we should return an index of one. So 
console.log and we do index one and we'll get a one. Pretty straightforward. Uh, next up, we're moving on to sort. Sort is a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, let, we're gonna have to go through it uh, twice because it handles words and numbers a little bit differently. So let array one equal, we'll do uh, Daniel, Carl, Bob, and Alan. So, uh oh, what is wrong here? Oh, you fool. All right, let's try again. Here we say uh, let array one equal. Let's try again. Go Daniel. We'll put in your name. Mark. Chris. And Alan. So this is our array. So we have uh, Daniel, Mark, Chris, and Alan. And let's say I call sort on it. It will be uh, alphabetical. So, so we do array one dot sort. Uh, console dot log array one dot sort and we'll get an Alan, Chris, Daniel, Mark. It will go in alphabetical order. So go Alan, Chris, Daniel, Mark. Now, it's a little bit strange when you have numbers. So we'll go seven, three, one hundred, eight. All right, console dot log. We'll go array to dot sort. Now, uh, if I call sort on here, you would think it would go three, seven, eight, one hundred, but it does not. It goes uh, one hundred, three, seven, eight. Very strange. But uh, there is a way to get around this, and that would be like this, array two dot sort. Uh, this one, you're more or less gonna have to just memorize it. We'll have uh, A and B, where A minus B. And that will give us three, seven, eight, 100. The idea here is we're comparing A and B, and A will always be less than B. And we can do the reverse where we can do console.log array two dot sort, and we'll pass an A, B, and then here we'll be where B is uh, less than A. So we'll be in reverse order. So it'll be 100, 8, 7, 3. Uh oh. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I see what we did there. Oh my goodness. Sorry. A, B, where B minus A. And this will be 100, 8, 7, 3. It's a reverse order. So we're just doing the opposite of this one. But bam. And then uh, our last one is this one here called reverse, which is pretty cool. Um, so let array one equal. We'll go one, two, three, four, and five. And if we do console.log and we say array one dot reverse, uh, I bet you can guess what's gonna happen. It will be five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, so that sums up our searching and sorting. And we're moving on to our last one. So let's say let array one equal, we'll go uh, Daniel, Mark and Keenan. Why not? Not Keenan, Keenan. All right, so we have an array of three names. Uh, let's say I want to do something for each of those. 
So I can do this. I can say array one dot for each, and I'll do something for each of these. So I can say name, where I will console dot log the name. Uh, you can call this anything. This just represents the element inside. So I can call it e. Oops. Call it element. I can call it banana. We'll always just output the elements inside. So here uh, we have array one dot for each, and then we console log each of the names. We can do something fun. So array one dot for each, and we say name and console dot log. Hello, and then we will put in name. Oopsies, I always forget that, our last one. Hello, Daniel, hello, Mark, hello, Keenan. Pretty fun stuff. Uh, now, map does something different. Uh, it's very similar to for each, where it does something for each of them, but it creates a, uh, a copy of the array. So let's say I have uh, let array one equal, let's say one, two, three, four, and five. We say console.log array one, we get one, two, three, four, five. Let's say we have a let array two equal array one dot map. And inside we'll pass an element. And here we say element plus five. So this will be a copy of this map, but with this change added to it. So the first one will be six, then seven, then eight, etc., etc. Array is not defined. Oh, we've called it on the wrong array. So I say let array two equals array one dot map, where e becomes e plus five, and the copied array. Array two is already defined. Oh my goodness, hold on. Let's start over again. Let array one equal one, two, three, four, five. And then here we go. Let array two equals array one dot map, where we are creating a copy where E is equal to E plus five. So uh, we'll just say get an new array where array two contains all of these numbers plus five. So it'd be six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Go console.log and we say array two and we get six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So pretty fun stuff. Uh, next up, we'll move over here to filter. Filter is when we want to get elements that um, do not meet a condition. So we are filtering out a specific element. So we can say, let array one equal one, two, three, 10, 55, three, and six. All right, and let's see, I want array two to be all these numbers that are less than 11, or less, let's do less than nine. So we'll get rid of the 10 and the 55. So we'll say, array one dot filter and here we'll say e where e is less than or sorry greater than uh 10. so all the things that we are getting rid of will be greater than 10. so do console dot log array two and what do we get we get 55. so that is what we have filtered out um, we can do another one where we say let array three equals array one dot filter. And we do the opposite where I want to collect all the things that are less than, oh, let, uh, let's see, less than 10. So this one will get rid of 55 and 10. Console.log and we do array three. And we get one, two, three, four. Well, one, two, three, three, and six. So we have one, two, three, 10 is filtered out, 55 is filtered out, three and six. Pretty fun stuff. Uh, next up, we have reduce and reduce right. Uh, 
Um, so these are good when you are adding up elements inside of uh, your array. Uh, we're going to go ahead and reset this. And here is what we will do is we have a callback, et cetera, et cetera. So let's say I have two, 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 two. Mm, let array one equal, we have one, two, three, and four. And we want to add up all these numbers. So we get one plus two is three, three plus three is six, and six plus four will be 10. So first up, we'll have our constant, which is uh, initial value is equal to zero. Oop, const initial value is equal to zero. Okay, uh, then we'll do const equals uh, sum plus initial value, which will be array one dot reduce. So here we will do accumulator and current value, which is equal to accumulator later plus current value and we will be adding that to the in initial value oops comma bloop, bloop. and then we'll do uh console dot log and we'll uh, pass out uh, sum plus initial value, and we'll get 10. Wow, pretty cool. Uh, this is annoying, I know. And we'll just move on to our very, uh, our last two, which will be Boolean checks. Um, these will also be for conditions. Um, so let's say let array one equal, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, every and sum. So every means every element inside of the array has to meet, and sum means at least one has to meet the condition. So we'll start off with console.log array one, and we want to use every. So we want to check if every element inside of this is greater than three. E where E is greater than three. And uh, we will get a false because we have the numbers one and two and we do in fact get a false console.log and we say array one where every element is less than 10. this one we will get a true because there are no elements greater than 10 is true uh, with some only one element or more has to meet the uh, condition so console dot log array one for sum where an element is greater than three now with every it would be false because we have one and two but uh, with sum because five and six meet the condition we will return uh oh sorry console uh, yeah that log array one where sum where e where e is greater than three and it will be true because we have five and six uh sorry about this, this is a pretty long video uh, but i really wanted to cover all the basic methods that we can call on an array uh, i hope you learned something new or i, I helped explain something and uh yeah uh, I'll try and make my video shorter next time, but uh, thank you for sticking around and watching. Uh, hope you learned something. Like and subscribe. Have a great day.